How we doing and welcome back. There's no question that having a good crisp white tee in your wardrobe is probably the most versatile piece that you can have. So obviously you saw the thumbnail. It's going to be no surprise to you that in this video, I'm going to be talking about my favorite blank tees. So we'll start at the most budget friendly option and work our way to the most expensive option. And in between all of that, talk about how they fit, how they've held up over time, what they're made up of, and all those details that matter to you. And of course you can find any of these tees linked in the description below. And with that laid out, Let's do it. So first up, we have the Abercrombie Essential Tee, and I've owned this for well over a year. When I try to picture that classic looking tee that's just perfect for everyday wear, this is the design I think of. Now there's not too much to call out here with the design, obviously, it's a pretty basic tee, but one thing I will say is I sized up to a large here, and I'm happy I did, I'm usually a medium, and I think this fits perfect. As far as cost goes, this is $19, but more times than not, you can find it on sale for about 15 bucks. And some other details to note as well is it's made of 100% cotton, and the Abercrombie Essential Tee is 180 grams. So it has a pretty good weight to it. And above all, this cotton is super soft to the touch. Like I've said, I've owned this for well over a year and I'm just still very impressed with how it's held up. And obviously for this video, I'm just showing off white tees, but you can pick out any color for any of these tees. They have a ton of other options. So for these next three shirts, we're taking a jump up to 40 bucks. So in this tier, the first one I'm gonna bring up is the Madewell Relaxed Tee. If you guys are familiar with my channel, all you know I love Madewell. I think it's just a great place to go for men's clothing. They've been really strong in the women's clothing game for a really long time, but now they have a great men's line too. But anyway, more about this shirt. It's 100% organic cotton and is definitely the least soft to the touch out of the bunch. And I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. With the fabric being less soft to the touch, and in my opinion, being a bit more rigid, it does tend to hold its structure a lot better than these other tees. Now, what I love about that is if you're wearing it as a standalone shirt or just using it as a layering piece, I think it just looks really good. On Madewell's website, they describe this as having a mid weight to it, which I would definitely agree with. It's not super heavy, nor is it very thin. So definitely a more relaxed and oversized fit than the Abercrombie Essential tee obviously and for this tee I'm wearing a size large if you guys are enjoying this video so far don't forget to give it a thumbs up it really helps push the video to more people just like you thanks going back to Abercrombie and again at $40 is gonna be the premium polished tee it might be hard to pick up on camera but I'm telling you this is by far the brightest and widest tee of the bunch and it has a bit more of a heavy weight to it at 275 grams I'd say it's just a bit heavier than that relaxed tee from Madewell similar to the Madewell tee it has an oversized fit but it's not nearly as long so it has just a bit more of a crop to it maybe an inch or two off the bottom. This shirt is also made up of 100% cotton and like I said typically I am medium for Abercrombie and that's what I went with here. And you can tell it is still pretty oversized as well. Another thing to call out about this shirt is it has a reinforced neckline with a ribbed detail on it. So that's nice for a couple of reasons. Obviously it's just another added detail but more so over time you don't have to worry about bacon collar. Next up we have the Crop Hill Tee from Elwood. Now this is technically an off-white but I definitely still think that counts at least in my book. This is made of 100% organic cotton and I got this in a size large. Now again with this one it is an oversized tee but has more of a drop shoulder design than any of the other ones so out of these it's the shortest by far but still doesn't overdo it to where you feel awkward wearing a crop tee if you're not used to it I'm honestly surprised how much I find myself coming back to this shirt when I'm trying to figure out what's the nice plain basic tee to go with for an outfit I find that the slight crop that it has just gives a very aesthetically pleasing silhouette and if you are a bit shorter and that helps you look a little bit taller as well which is always a plus so if you're in the six foot and under club like me and this is a good one for you probably. Another detail to note is this is 220 grams, so it sits right in between in terms of weight from the Abercrombie Essential Tee to the Abercrombie Premium Polish Tee. Okay, now we're taking another jump in price to 54 bucks. Now obviously at this price point, it's gonna be more than some people are willing to spend, but nonetheless, I'm gonna talk about it. So here we have the Cuts AO Hem Tee. I'm actually wearing it right here in this video, and I went with the size large on this. Now what's different about this shirt is it features that classic quintessential drop cut design and more of an athletic fit to go with it as well. Some things that I do like about it is it hugs the arms and chest very very well now whether you like the drop hem design is certainly preference I know cuts is coming out with a regular straight cut later on in this month which is gonna be great and whenever it's out I'll be sure to link it below as well but nonetheless some people do really prefer this design another thing I like about it, it has a very tight neckline which is definitely also not for everybody but something I do really enjoy when I'm looking for a nice layering shirt honestly this is the one I go to and it's so so soft because it's made of their pica pro material which according to them is buttery soft and I definitely Definitely can confirm that but this material is made of 62% polyester 33% cotton and 5% spandex some people only care to have 100% cotton t-shirts which that's totally okay some people don't mind it at all but I definitely wanted to call that out because that can be a turnoff for some now moving on to the most expensive tea at 58 bucks the granddaddy of them all the lululemon fundamental tea now off the cuff when you look at this tea it just looks like a very basic tea honestly very similar to the Abercrombie essential tea I'd say the sleeves are a little bit longer and here I'm actually wearing a size medium. Now, without a 
doubt this is the softest tee of the bunch. There's not even a question. But I will say, interestingly enough, it also feels like the thinnest. Not to the point where it's see-through or anything, I, that would be a really bad look, but just something to call out and something to note. Now when it comes to material, it's also a bit different here too. So it's 40% Pima cotton, 37% nylon, and the rest is essentially polyester. So again, some people really don't like the fact that it's not 100% cotton, but I don't care. I think it's extremely soft. And you might've picked up on that 40% Pima cotton portion. And Pima cotton is essentially the longest strands or fibers of cotton that there are. It only accounts for about 1% of all the cotton harvested. I don't know if it's a marketing or just my brain playing tricks on me, but I do feel like this is still my favorite shirt, even though it is the most expensive. And while the differences may be marginal between this one and the Abercrombie tee, I still find myself picking this one anytime that I want just a good classic tee. But at the end of the day, that is truly just all preference and really depends on what you like and what you think looks best. So I tried my best to keep this very unbiased. Again, you can find everything in the description box below. If you like this video, please throw it a thumbs up. It really does help a lot. And if you like me even a touch, maybe subscribe too. I'd appreciate it. That'd be cool. Other than that, guys, I'll see you on next week's video. Later.